Good afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome to Toddler Tuesday. This video is brought to you by the Durham County Library, and I'm Miss Chastity, and today we have a story for you about a mischievous bunny named Fufu. Little bunny Fufu loved to hop through the forest, scoop up field mice, and bop them on the head. Well, little bunny Fufu did this every day until one day he was caught by surprise. Down came a fairy and said, Little Bunny Fufu, I don't want to see you hopping through the forest, scooping up field mice and bopping them on the head. So Little Bunny Fufu hopped away. The next day, Little Bunny Fufu hopped through the forest, scooped up a field mice and bopped them on the head. The fairy came down and said, Little Bunny Fufu, I saw you. No more scooping up field mice and bopping them on the head. I'll give you three more chances. So the very next day, Little Bunny Fufu hopped through the forest, scooped up a field mice and bopped him on the head. Down came the fairy and the fairy said, Little Bunny Fufu, I saw you. You only get two more chances. No more scooping up field mice and bopping them on the head. Little Bunny Fufu promised he wouldn't do it again and he hopped away. The very next day, Little Bunny Fufu hopping through the forest, scooped up a field mice and bopped them on the head. The fairy came down and said, Little Bunny Fufu, I warned you, you only have one more chance to get it right. So Little Bunny Fufu, no more scooping up field mice and bopping them on the head. So Little Bunny Fufu hopped away. Little Bunny Fufu, the very next day, was hopping through the forest, scooped up a field mice and bopped him on the head. The fairy came down and said, Little Bunny Fufu, I warned you, no scooping up field mice and bopping them on the head. That was your last chance, Little Bunny Fufu. So, I'm gonna one, two, boom, turn you into a goon. Little Bunny Fufu was so sad. He was sad because a goon has no hands to scoop up field mice and bop them on the head. So the lesson is, kids, always do the right thing. You never know who's watching. I hope you enjoyed that story. Because now, guys, we're going to talk about five magic rabbits. Let's count the magic rabbits. One, two, three, four, five. Five magic rabbits who love the red hat. Along came a magician and gave each one a tap. He waved his magic wand high above his head and poof! One magic rabbit disappeared and went to bed. So we have four magic rabbits who all love the red hat. Along came a magician and gave each one a tap. He waved his magic wand high above his head and poof! Another magic rabbit gone to bed. We have three magic rabbits who all love the red hat. Along came a magician and gave each one a pet. He waved his magic wand high above his head and poof! Another magic rabbit gone to bed. We have two magic rabbits who love the red hat. Along came a magician and gave each one a tap. He waved his magic wand high above his head and poof! Another magic rabbit gone to bed. One magic rabbit who loved the red hat. Along came a magician and gave him a tap. He waved his magic wand high above his head and poof! The last magic rabbit went to bed. Thank you guys for coming to Toddler's Story Time and have a very good day. Bye-bye.